Welcome to AP Engineer Sub. Design of Bells Band or Guide Band and Launching Apron. This technical video on this YouTube channel is presented with an intent of knowledge sharing only and not for commercial purpose. The content presented and the data is obtained from various sources like textbooks, webinars, social media and practical experience. The following headers data pertains to a bridge site of a river. Maximum discharge is equal to 6000 cubic. HFL is equal to 104 meters. River bed level is equal to 100 meters. The average dye of river bed material is equal to 0.1 mm. Design bell span including launching up from. Assume plentiful availability of boulders near the site. Solution the waterway between two guide bands. The laces resume waterway is equal to clear water that is between piers. P is equal to 4.7 root Q. Q is the discharge. Allowing 20% extra for piers. The net spacing between the two guide bands at the bridge size. Site is equal to 1.2 into 360. It is equal to 440 meters. And L is equal to 440 meters. Therefore, length of the guide band upstream of bridge is 1.25 times 440 is equal to 550 meters. The length of the guide band downstream of bridge is equal to 0.25 L is equal to 110 meters. The radius of the curved head upstream portion may be kept 0.45 L, say 194 meters. The upstream end of guide band may therefore be curved by 130 degrees between 130 to 145 degrees with a radius of 194 meters. The downstream end of the guide band may therefore be curved in such a way as to make the an angle of 80 degrees as shown in the figure. This is the plan of guide band. Cross sections of the guide bands. The given HFL at bridge site is equal to 104 meters. Assuming freeboard 1.5 meters, nil value of flux and ignoring velocity head, we have the top level of guide band is equal to 105.5. To be more safe of making elements for future asset limit, etc., let us add up the top level as 106 meters. Assume the top width of the band as 5 meters and size slope as 2 is to 1. The cross section of the straight reach of bell span. The stone pitching and an apron must be provided on the slope on what side for the entire length of the band. However, the rear side will also be pitched for curved portions of the band. Velocity is equal to V square by 2G. Therefore, V is equal to 1.57 meters per second. If velocity is equal to 0.13 meters. Design of stone pitching and apron. The thickness of stone pitching on the side T is given by T is equal to 0 0.06 Q, root Q. The Q is discharge. Say 1.1 meters. The thickness of apron is given by 1.90, say 2.1 meters. The length of the apron is given by 1.5 d, where d for the straight portion of guide band is given by d is equal to 1.25 r minus y, where r is equal to 0 0.47 q by f to the power of 1 by 3. F is equal to lacy silt factor is equal to 0.556 therefore R is equal to 10.36 meters Y is equal to depth of water above our bed level is equal to 104 minus 100 is equal to 4 meters therefore D is equal to 1.25 into 10.36 minus 4 is equal to 9 meters Length of apron is equal to 1.5 d, is equal to 13.5 meters. For the curvilinear 
transition portion of the guide band where however d is given by 1.5 minus y is equal to 11.54 hence the length of apron in the curved portions will be equal to 1.5 d pitching and apron in these curved portions shall be provided on both sides on figure the length of aprons at nose should be increased to 1.5 d where d is equal to 2.24 into 10.36 minus 4 is equal to 90.3 say 30 meters thank you